Hey, Amigos, this is Super Zomica Barbecue, and today we're going to be talking about WWE Champions, not just any normal WWE Champions, WWE Champions number 8, which is going to be an upload specifically surrounding the newest game mode in the game, Gauntlet Blitz. You may have seen it, you may or may not have seen the tokens you can get, which I'm going to show you. They have officially started the brand new Gauntlet Blitz mode, and it's pretty, pretty fun. It's it's pretty sick. I like it. Uh, I think it's pretty awesome, and it's a great way to allow people to get themselves free stuff in game. I'm going to show you the kind of things you get, but I'm also going to give you guys a couple of hints and tips, to special little bits and pieces that might get you further and more rewards in game. So uh, you want to be paying attention, a lot of attention. But if you could throw a like on this video, in fact. Given that the mega superstar of today, of this weekend, is Chris Jericho, I'm going to ask you to put the like button on the list, you stupid idiot! I'm, I'm joking, I'm, I'm genuinely not calling you a stupid idiot. I'm, it, Chris Jericho is a stupid idiot, okay? But if you could put the like button on the list, and hit it as hard as you can, that'd be amazing. Thank you. Now... On to Gauntlet Blitz. Now, those little tokens you've been collecting in Versus, in Normal Modes, if for your factions. And the factions play a huge part in this new game mode, which is called Gauntlet Blitz. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, you've probably played it. No, no, they don't. This doesn't actually involve the factions. No, you don't have to worry about actually involving your factions. It's not like a team event or a faction event. But what it is, is it's a way... Of getting your superstars recovered because in this game mode think of it as a version of the road but you cannot recover any of your superstars when you lose them if you have any damage done that damage is permanent for the remainder of the time you can see i've already started in hell mode yeah i mean that i'm in hell right now in this it's really difficult but I'm going to explain how Gauntlet Blitz works, and it's not a ball run blitz, it is Gauntlet Blitz, I am telling you right, just in case you get that little reference. But, there are three different difficulties of Gauntlet Blitz, there is normal, there is hard, and there is hell, and hell, hell is not a good place to be, because it is really, really difficult, and you have to be super lucky to get yourself through it. But the good news is, is the more you play, the more likelihood you the rewards in the level you're at are going to go up. Uh, but it does require to have those Gauntlet Blitz tickets, which you can only get by basically playing your ass off or being a really good outstanding member in the faction or in a good faction where lots of people are doing really awesome stuff. But I had a little chat with the guys at WWE Champions on Twitter. You should go follow them if you don't already. Uh, and they gave me a few details about the game mode so I can explain it to y'all and uh, we're going to get into it now. So... Whenever you put any superstars in this, they are locked into that, so you cannot use them for any other game mode. You can't use them for versus, but you'll be happy to know that it doesn't take long for you to get out of a game of Gauntlet Blitz mode. The thing with Gauntlet Blitz mode, it is super, super, super heavy on your energy. So, if you don't have a lot of med packs, you should probably think of twice before going into it. And maybe get yourself into a really good faction that is going to allow you to get uh, healed up really, really quickly. Otherwise, you're going to struggle like hell. It, it's it's super, super heavy on that. Plus, on top of that, uh, if you don't have yourself any uh, Golden Bits tokens, I still recommend that you should go into Versus mode. Maybe, join, again, join a faction or do a couple of the road tours or limited time tours that are on the... Uh, on the normal menu before you get into it to get yourself some more Gauntlet Blitz tickets. And they pop up every so often. So yeah, it only costs 200 to actually enter into one of these. So it's not that expensive. But it is the health that costs the most in this game mode that I, I found anyway. But let me know if we've got any hints, tips around Gauntlet Blitz in the comment section below. If you've played it before in the beta version for the game, which is available in Australia and Canada way before now, then uh, let us know if there's any hints and tips. Because this is a, an event that's been around for a while, but uh, this is brand new for the new game and has not been in the game for some time, as far as I, I've been told. But uh, the rewards are pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. The rewards are pretty dope. You can see my team here, and you have to enter certain superstars. So at the top here, it was any WWE superstars. Uh, so it was, like the old school guys. In the headliners, it was all like current WWE superstars or people in the new era. And in the bottom, it was just like, anyone who's of certain class. 
Uh, so it just gives you like a little bit of an extra mana boost in the early stages. And I'll give you a couple of hints and tips as to things you can do to try and get yourself through the early stages quite easily. You see here getting those rewards. I've already got myself a couple of great rewards in this. I've already played it once through already and I've got myself one before the end. One before the end. Such a troll. I, it, it denied me because I lost uh, Jerry Lawler. He lost all his health. And as I said, if you lose all your health on a, on, a, on a character, that is it. It is done. It is gone until you come out of this game mode and you have to refit it again. Next match is against Seth Rollins. I'm going to play up against another person for some premium superstar chips. The ones I want are those two-star superstar chips. Why? Because if you get 10,000 of those, you're guaranteed to get yourself a two-star superstar from the shop. Which means... You're going to guarantee yourself that your deck is going to go higher. I don't know how it works for all the other game modes. Um, but yeah, if, in fact, let's have a look. I'm going to have a look at the rewards for these. It's a 1,000 here. Uh, it's still a lot of coins you can get. And you can get yourself some really awesome uh, props and things like that as well, tokens. So it's definitely worth going through all of these, in fairness. Uh, and you can get... I mean, you could literally just keep playing and playing and playing the, the initial tier. Just to get yourself some initial tokens... I mean, if you was to pay for it just a couple of times, you'd probably be able to get yourself a free pack or two. Uh, especially the premium superstar packs. And you might even get yourself a two-star superstar from that. So it's definitely worth doing. And it's a really awesome little game mode. Great for progression. Amazing for progression from what we've seen here. But if it'll continue to be that, we're not sure. The other thing to note is you have to have at least five people in your roster to be able to play Gauntlet Blitz. Which should really mean that everyone gets to play it. But let's play a couple of games. Uh, we've got Seth Rollins here. And that's going to give me some uh, some med packs, which I'll need after this. But if you've played this game mode, and you like what you're seeing, or even if you don't like what you're seeing, and you, you're not really a fan of it, let me know in the comment section, because it's always open. We're always going to be open when we're talking about getting new game modes, new events, things you haven't played before. So uh, we're going to hopefully take down Seth Rollins quite easily. I have noticed that some of the superstars in the, the, the Gauntlet Blitz mode, are the really hard ones, their finishers aren't particularly strong, which means that they are still beatable by some of the lower level superstars. And I was beating some uh, with, with class benefits, of course. I you know I had a, a really good class against another one. I was still beating people with like a level 1200 uh, superstars against level 1700 superstars. So I was still managing to beat them. So they're going to get the neck breaker. The neck breaker is going to do a lot of damage there. We're going to get ourselves a wild card there. That's good. Okay. If I use the blues here, probably a bad move there. But by next, I've got an extra turn. Okay. That's cool. That helps. I need the reds. I got some blues there as well. Going to go for the pin. Is it going to be enough? It's not going to be enough. It's surely not going to be enough. No, it's not going to be enough. He's going to get a gut buster on me. He's going to get a wild card. He's going to get me. He's going to get a second turn. He's going to hit me with a finisher. That straight sidekick at level 7 is going to do a lot of damage. And I don't actually think I'm going to be able to kick out of this. So there was me just saying that this game mode is sometimes a little bit easier. This is really hard. Oh, this is this is looking looking bad. Oh, we got we managed to kick out. We managed to kick out. It's cool. Uh, I've got two special moves. Although bad news, Barrett after that finisher is not in a good way at all. That's going to be enough to get the pin. So it's all good. Wasteland. We're going to win. It's cool. Yay, etc. Lots of fun. Pin. One, two, three. But. The problem now is, is that Bad News Barra is now not in a good way. That means that if I have any other matches involving those kind of superstars, Bad News Barra is as good as useless. It'd be great to clear things up, and I'll show you a couple of tactics to use. Like in the early matches, use your really weak superstars. The ones that you have uh, maybe the slower level superstars for. Uh, or if you've got like a high level superstar that you know is just going to run through people like a three star bronze and maximum level Then absolutely the last thing you want to be using is the likes of three star bronzes To take on the early people because you're going to get up to this stage and they're just going to they're just going to get killed They're just going to get killed. So it's okay. We've got Jody King Lauder uh, He's not my ideal choice. I'm going to be honest I would have preferred to use other people, but I'm going to level him up a little bit, so he's got just a tiny, tiny little bit of an edge. But this is for 200 premium superstar tokens. And enough of these, I could do a mass pack opening for free, without even having to spend a penny. So, what do we do here? 
We got any fours? Any fours? No, we got blues. We use the blues for the time being. We use the blues. Uh, taking down his stats pretty quickly, and he's just got two big moves in a row. He's taking out 2,000 of my health. He's taking out a line there, though. 4,000 is going to take him down pretty hard. Uh, right. 7,000 damage. I don't want to be doing that. Let's do this double line over here. Is that going to be enough to pin? 3,000? No, no way. Not, not even close. The guy's taking out four lines just to kick out. This is mental. That's taking down the one bar of my health. You can take him out with a running drop kick, and then we can hit him with the finisher. Very, very soon. There we go. Royal Fist. Boom. Taking him out. Pin. Thank you. One, two, three. If we get ourselves those, those premium superstar chips, which is going to do us wonders. And they have three star bronzes in those as well. They're not as strong as the mega superstars, but they're, you know, they're, they're there or thereabouts. So uh, this is where you start having problems, especially at my level. Uh, now, uh, I'm now going to start having difficulties because I'm going to start using some of my better superstars. Uh, trust me, I didn't want to use Jody King Lord there, but I didn't also want to lose some of the, the lower guys. So, this guy is a powerhouse, which means really I need to replace him. I'm going to sacrifice Dean Ambrose here. And the reason I'm doing this is that it will take a couple of moves at least for him to get his finisher up. And if I'm lucky enough, I might be able to do enough damage to maybe going for a cheeky pin or something. But given that he's such a low level compared to Roman Reigns, it's unlikely to happen. I'm kind of just throwing Dean Ambrose out there to basically get mauled. Uh, I'm, I'm just, he's literally just taking damage from me. And because he's got a really good uh, superstar characteristic, which is really strong against Roman Reigns, I'm just using him as much as I can for damage before ultimately he's going to get his ass kicked. Yeah, he's, he's holding up pretty good out there, you know? Double underhook suplex. If this can do a little bit extra for me, uh, no, that's not going to do much at all for me. That, that's, that, that's pretty poor. <laughs> this isn't... This is not going to go well. Give it a couple. Give it kind of like a couple more turns. He is going to absolutely brutalize me. He's so close to getting his uh, his moves up. Actually, we can take out a line here. We've got those loops to take out a line. That's something that gets our uh, the power up. You know, we're, we're doing enough damage as it is. So we're actually going to be able to do a finisher on Roman. So this is going a lot better than I expected. Um, Dean Ambrose is like a superhero right now. He might as well, literally, uh, might as well just open up his chest to reveal a big, I would say a huge D, but that sounds really wrong. Uh, okay, so, finish a Mox Cutter? Yep. It's not going to do a huge amount of damage. We can do three gems to destroy. i tell you what, let's do this instead. I've got a better idea. Let's take out those three, which means that there'll be a four. There's a wild card there. We've got two wild cards. Is that actually gonna is gonna pin him? No! Oh, so close! He almost did it! He almost did it! He did so much damage there. Okay, we're gonna use the tornado DDT to take him down even further. If Dean Ambrose legit wins this, this is like the this is like the underdog story of the century. Another wild card, but it's not gonna be long before Roman Reigns turns up the pressure. So, uh, I don't know what to do here. I'm really stuck. I'm going to go for the blues. I'm going to go for the blues. There we go. Which got us a couple. Actually, that's good. That's a really good move. That's not bad at all. 2,220. It's not going to do anything. It really isn't going to do anything. And he's got no moves yet. Oh, this is an opportunity. Ooh. I think we might just be able to win this. If this works... If this works, this is insane. Okay, how do we do this? Oh, uh, okay, right. So, I've got a plan. It might not work. But if I take out these three, surely my best chance of victory. Choose three gems to destroy. Oh, we did it! How the hell did Dean Ambrose just win that match that is that's rocky style shit that's amazing i can't use dean ambrose anymore but wow that worked out perfectly what a way to end
Because I, I can't use Dean Ambrose, which means the next match against Seth Rollins is going to be just a, you know, it's just going to be me getting my ass kicked. Um, but yeah, what a way to end. Seth Rollins is at 2,731. I need to replace it. Dean Ambrose is done, but i am still got eight superstars here. So this this is going well. I'm happy, but let me know what you think about Gauntlet Blitz in the comment section below. Remember to leave a huge like on the video and one like for every Dean Ambrose. That or let's call him let's call him John Moxley. You know, for every John Moxley comeback, like Rocky S comeback, that was just insane. He had no health and he just beat a level two thousand Roman Reigns. Thank you all for watching. Remember to go into the description below to check out the details to my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, like and uh, follow all those links. And also don't forget to subscribe using the little widget that's going to pop up just down here. And one last thing, and that is to... Zing!